Good afternoon, welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Charlie, and we're gonna demonstrate all the obedience command your guys learned here at school. We're gonna start off by introducing the training equipment, and Brandy has a standard six foot web training leash, and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand, which leaves her left hand free to make a correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment. Now we'll show you how to properly put that on and use it when Charlie goes home. Now, as you can see, Charlie is seated very nicely Nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our basic obedience training is done. And the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Charlie. Healing is properly walking on the leash, always on your left, and the command is Charlie heal. Now at this point he's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with Brandy's left leg. No forging ahead, no lagging behind. And whenever Brandy stops, you'll notice that Charlie's been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. Now he is an absolute love and a sweetheart. You can see he enjoys working with Brandy. He's wagging, he's always looking for love and affection, which is a good thing. Nice automatic sit. They take off healing again. Again, the command is Charlie heal. The only time in training that we use the dog's name is when you're healing with them or when you're calling them. The other commands are just one word commands. Now he is a bit of a leaner. He likes to feel you next to him. He likes that comfort. Another beautiful automatic sit. Now the next command we're gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. Now sometimes with these giant breeds they would rather lay down than hold a sit stay. But have him hold this sit stay for 30 seconds or so. Working up to two or three minutes. You could see that he went to lay down when Brandy didn't give him that down command. So if he does that, go right back to the command and start over. Make sure that he follows the commands as designed. Like I said, he would much rather lay down than sit. Another nice sit and stay. Now if he goes down, because it's a hotter day, we're not gonna get overly concerned or, or upset about it. It's not the end of the world. These big dogs don't like this, uh, this oppressive heat and humidity. Brandy's going to take off healing with him again after some love. What we'll do with Charlie next is we'll show you a series of down commands. All of these commands are designed to just have him be a better behaved, well-mannered boy at home. Brandy's going to go ahead and use her left hand in the one word firm command to down. And then stay. With your down stays at home, start off for about a minute or so, working up to five minutes, but take your time getting to that five minute mark. When Brandy returns to her dog, she's gonna walk all the way around Charlie as an added distraction. She stops right there at heel position, and they take off healing again. So we keep our training sessions short with all of our dogs, but especially with these larger breeds or the giant breeds, keep it 10 or 15 minutes is certainly long enough. And if the weather's not cooperating outside, then you can do your basic obedience right indoors. Another nice automatic sit. Randy gives him that down command again. Because he is a working dog, this gives him an outlet for a job that he was supposed to do. So this obedience training is great for him and he does really enjoy it. Brandy can call him out of that down stay. The command is Charlie, come. We want to make that come command a nice command. So you lighten the tone of your voice. You want it to be encouraging. If you think about that come command a lot of times for dogs, it's either, you know, come inside, play time's over. For people that use crates, you know, mom and dad are going to work. Come, you gotta go in your crate. So lighten the tone, make it a happy command. Brandy can show you that down command one more time from heel position. Yeah. Down and stay. If you're working in a fenced-in area or working indoors, you can you can drop your leash, increase the distance between you and Charlie. Brandy calls him out of that. He comes back and sits very nicely. Uh, a little bit of love. He is such a sweetheart. He's got such a wonderful temperament. It's hard not to fall in love with him. And then the very last command we're going to demonstrate is going to be the down from a distance, which is Charlie's favorite command. I would love to just lay down and just be outside with you guys. 
So we've shown you Charlie's ability to heal very nicely on a leash. He's a pleasure to walk now. His ability to automatically sit, to stay, to lay down from heel position, lay down from a distance, and to come. We want to thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer, and we can't wait to see you soon. Have a wonderful day.